Hey. Hey. Can you hear me? Come on, I know you can hear me. Pay attention. Come on. You can't just ignore me. Not forever anyway. No, you can't. I'm still here whether you acknowledge me or not. Wow. Seriously? Hurtful? What is your problem today? Someone's grumpy. Yeah, well, there's no need to take it out on me. I'm just doing my thing, as I always do. Now you need to do yours, whatever that is. Okay, well, what's wrong? Did you just wake up in a bad mood or something? Ah, I see. I'm sorry. It does ruin the whole day when you sleep badly. Not that that excuses you being a massive grump, but it does explain it. Is there anything I can do to help? You sure? I could tell a story or a joke or... All right, well, if that changes, let me know. Now, are you ready to start the day or should I leave you alone? Of course I can leave you alone if you want me to. I leave you alone lots of times. I may be literally in your pocket for most of the day, but we spend plenty of time apart. All you ever have to do is say the word and I'll leave you be. Of course, I can wander over here, tuck myself into a tea towel or something. Sure I can. I can nap until you're ready to be around people. Whatever works best for you. Are you really sure? And you won't bite my head off, metaphorically or literally? Good, because I swear I can grab a couple of cookie crumbs and just curl up in a corner someplace with a book. Okay then, which pocket am I in today? Yay, my favorite. Good choice. A couple of reasons. I like being close enough to your ears that you can hear me. And I like being against your heart so I can hear it beating. And also, you're way less likely to nearly sit on me in a breast pocket. Uh-huh. You say just one time. I say near-death experience. Whatever. What's on the schedule today? Okay, that sounds good. Anything else? Well, yeah, I have to work later, but I can do it myself. Not a problem. Just a couple of commercial voiceovers, nothing too heavy. Shouldn't take long at all. I know, right? And maybe now is a good time for me to thank you again for setting everything up for me. The microphone and laptop and all that. It's nice to be able to do things for myself. Especially when it comes to working, contributing to the household, yada yada. Yeah, well, if I'm too small to clean toilets or cook dinner, I can at least contribute rent money. Don't even joke about that. If you ever drop me in the toilet, I will be gone so fast. Not what I mean. Also, all drains do not lead to the ocean, you idiot. Stop taking your city planning knowledge from Disney movies. If you say so, no toilets, though. Hey, you don't know how good you have it. Or maybe you do. You can't fool me. Even when you're grumpy, I can tell you like having me around. You enjoy my company. It's fine. You don't have to admit it. I know you're in a mood. It's all good. But you know what? I like being around you too. Even when you're grumpy. Mm-hmm. You're a lot of fun. And your pockets are very comfy. Well, no, not in that jacket. That one's scratchy as hell. What's it made of? Fiberglass? I'm glad you don't wear it that much. This jacket, on the other hand... Oh yeah, easily my favorite. Are you ready to go, then? I'm ready. Brushed my teeth, brushed my hair, took a lovely shower in the sink. I like that rain attachment, by the way. Yeah, it was a great choice. And I have gone with what is clearly one of my more flattering doll dresses today. Something from the modern Barbie collection, I believe. 
judging by this shade of pink right here. So yeah, I'm good to go. Should I saddle up, so to speak? Okay, then make way for the pocket re. Let me just... There we go. You good? Me too. I'm ready for whatever is waiting for us today. I know I'm really good at famous last words, so let's go. Oh, it's Mrs. Abernathy. Does she just wait at her window until we leave? She's always right there the second we step outside. I am holding still. Don't worry, she won't know I'm here. She's mostly deaf anyway. Aw, that's nice of her to say. Tell her thank you for the brownies, by the way. They were really good. Just tell her. And then hold the door open for her so she can get inside safely. She seems so frail lately. Don't talk to your pocket. Just mumble under your breath. I'll hear you. Even Mrs. Abernathy will think it's weird if you talk to your pocket. Nicely done. She's sweet. She means well. It's good of you that you stop and talk to her. I know, but still, take the compliment. Now where to? Sounds good. I'm gonna peek. Don't worry, I'll be careful. I'm only saying it to stop you from giving me the same warning you give me every time. No one will see me. No one will hear me. Worst case, if they do see me, they'll think I'm a toy in your pocket. If they do hear me, they'll think I'm your phone. It's really not a big deal. Yeah, I know you know that. You wouldn't let me go out with you like this if you were seriously concerned. You're just crabby and busting my chops. I get it. Speaking of which, do you have your fake Bluetooth ear thingy? Okay, good. So you can talk without worrying about it. Mmm, it's a gorgeous day out, isn't it? I love the breeze. Mm-hmm. You want some gum? There's gum in here. Suit yourself. I think I'll have some. Mmm, minty fresh. Can you smell my breath? I'm kidding. Please do not sniff the pocket. No, no, that's okay. You can just... I said, please don't. <laughs> don't. Stop it. You are such a weirdo. I know, I know. You're lucky you're cute. Well, of course I am. I'm literally pocket-sized. You don't have a hope of being cuter than me, but you're still cute. Hmm. Bakery first or butcher shop first? Perfect. I love it in there. Less blood, more sugar. What do you mean? You, you, you mean actually no pastries? None? But, but what will we have for breakfast? But pastries are so nice. Damn, fine, whatever. I can eat yogurt, yogurt is healthy. I can make healthy choices most of the time. Yes, I can, and I can remind you to eat healthier too. I can be like the angel on your shoulder, helping you make good choices. Sure I can, I can be a great influence. That was one time, maybe two times tops. Most of the time I have a net positive impact on your life. Hey, nobody's perfect. Plus again, whose decision is it to keep me around? Mm-hmm, exactly. Oh, we're here. What's fresh today? That looks so good. How do they make bread look so good? Maybe I'm just hungry. Yes, get that. Definitely get that. That looks amazing. We can make sandwiches with it. Absolutely. So many good sandwiches. Yes, thank you. Excellent choice. Bagels too? Wow, you're spoiling me today. I guess your mood has improved. It might be the weather and the nice walk, or it might be my company, you never know. Exactly. Both. Both is good. <laughs> I like this baker guy. He's friendly. And I think he genuinely appreciates the business. Whoa. 
Hey, don't move so fast, I fell. No, just to the bottom of the pocket, but it was still discombobulating. Take it easy up there. Hmm, did you get something else? What? Oh, is this for me? The whole thing? Oh, wow. I love chocolate chip. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know it'll take me a week to eat all this, right? Yeah, well, challenge accepted. <laughs> mm, thank you, sweetness. I don't care what people say about you. You're pretty cool. Oh, you know, people. All the people that I know. <laughs> Shut up. Let's get on with the errands and get home again. But I hope you don't mind if I nibble this while we walk. I promise I won't make a mess in your pocket. There won't even be a single crumb when I'm done with it. Hey, it's chocolate chip. It would be a sin to waste any. You're awesome. Now back into the fresh air with you, my noble steed. The day is ahead of us. Hey, sweetness. Special shout out to this audio's randomly selected sweetness patron, Ikrira. Thank you so much to all of my patrons for keeping this channel going. If you like what you hear, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and check out the links in the description for my other channels. Thanks for listening.